Hey there, I'm Adam Bombati, and guess what? I made this avatar of myself in less than five minutes with no outside programs, just my web browser and my VRChat account. This avatar is desktop, PC, VR, and Quest compatible, and does not need you to have the new user trust rank. The crazy kids at Wolf3D have done it again. In a previous video, I showed you the release of their Ready Player Me avatars for mixed reality use with Liv, but just today they have released an official integration for VR chat. The avatars are also fully rigged, as you can see here, for those of you who use trackers for full body tracking, and they also have lip syncing and your usual emotes. As a disclaimer, I am testing out a pre-release version. The team is still hard at work ironing out the final bugs that should be mostly gone by the time you're watching this video. Like I mentioned, not only can you use these avatars for both PC VR and for Quest, but you also do not need to have a new user trust rank. Normally, before you can upload any custom avatar, you needed to have a certain amount of playtime and friends, which VRChat doesn't give you a specific amount, and it seems random for everyone. However, if you create an avatar using Ready Player Me, you don't have to worry about any of that. Just create and play. You do need to have a VR chat account though through their website. So if you've only been playing through Steam or Oculus, make sure you have an official VR chat account and tie your platform's login to it. Anyway, how can you create an avatar of your own and how fast will it take you? Let me show you and put a timer to it to prove how quick it is. Although the amount will vary depending on your indecisiveness for character creation. All right, so let's make our avatar. Now I'm gonna base mine off of myself, but you can make your avatar whoever, whatever you want. So all you have to do is head over to readyplayer.me slash VR chat. We're gonna click create your avatar. Then you can choose your body type. If you don't want to, you can just click don't specify. But for me, I'm gonna select feminine. Now you can either take a photo using your webcam or you can upload one if you already have one. I'm just going to pick a file and upload it myself. Let's pick something like this one. Accept and we'll see how it does. So this is the default that it's given me. I'm going to make some changes to it, but it's actually not bad. Uh, COVID times, I'm going to make my skin a little paler. I'm going to change my hair color to be more of that reddish orange. There's a wide variety of different hair types to select from, so hair can be something a little tricky that the AI gets right. Okay, I think I'm going to pick that one. That's pretty close. You can also choose from a variety of outfits depending on the look that you're going for. And you can rotate the camera around to see what it looks like from all angles. You can also add facial hair, change the facial hair color, change your eye color. You can change the shape of your eyebrows as well as eyebrow color. You can even add on accessories such as glasses and different types of face paint and lipsticks. Then once you're done, all you have to do is click done and wait a little bit. Then we're going to click import to VR chat. It'll ask you to log into your VR chat account. Then you have to allow Ready Player Me access to your account in order for it to upload your avatar automatically. So click yes. And there you have it. That's pretty much it. I'm going to add an extra five minutes to the timer in case it does actually need that full time. Although in my experience, it's been much, much shorter. But pretty much there you go. That's how you make a VR chat avatar in less than 10 minutes. After giving it five minutes or so, go back into VR chat and scroll down to another category to find your new avatars. If you want to make another avatar, just go to the new button and create a new one. Once you're back in VR chat, you'll notice now you'll have an additional avatar. However, know that I haven't been able to find a way to delete them. This might be changed in the future, but for now, create with slight caution. Like I mentioned earlier, this just got released, so there might be a few bugs, but the team is very receptive to feedback. You can find them on Twitter, at GetWolf3D, or through their Discord, which I'll post a link to in the description below. Smash that sub button and bell notification for updates on future videos. You can also find me on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, etc. Pretty much any other social media as Adam Bombody. And if you want to support the channel via VR themed merch on Patreon, links will also be below. 
As always, keep on creating and never lose that drive to improve. I'll see you on the next one.